necessary versus sufficient conditions. Those are both parts of conditional statements. I think of the sufficient as being enough to guarantee something else or that it enables or unlocks a possibility. Like if you have a million dollars, that's sufficient to allow you to do many, many different things. If you have a million dollars, you could buy a boat, you could buy a house. But having a house or a boat doesn't mean that you necessarily had $1 million because perhaps you could buy those things for less. So a million dollars would be sufficient to buy many, many things, including a candy bar. But getting a candy bar, if we see you with a candy bar, does that mean you had a million dollars? Not necessarily. So the, the sufficient allows possibilities and it guarantees that certain things will happen. Nothing more. Okay. On the other hand, what's necessary is what is required, what you need to have. So having something that's required will not necessarily require other things as well, but we know it was required by something else. I think overall, looking at simply those lists of words that let you identify one condition versus another and just committing those to memory would do a lot to help you interpret the difficult language on the LSAT. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.